Oh, you're right. <laughs> I already have Exax, so. I'll keep the Sack Voice. <laughs> you know, I think it's a good trade. Yeah. We, we, Honestly, yeah. I'll totally take the Sack Voice. Yeah, but all right, here we go into our next match. Uh, the Rix? The Remix? I don't know. Uh, he rocking the Yoshi, going against Ken's Sonic. And Ken has been on the come up, doing very well at plenty of the events he's been going to with that. And even just last last week yeah, at, last at Leo Saga. <laughs> getting, getting second at Leo Saga, losing in winner's finals of his pool, making an incredible loser's run, just against nothing but PGR players all the way to the top. Ken has, like, he's considerably stepped up his game since he first started appearing on U.S. Shores back at Frostbite. Uh, now he's considered, like, he, everyone would be surprised if Ken is not top 10 PGR this, uh, this next season. Oh, he definitely deserves it. But here we go. The match so far. Uh, Ken getting up a nice little lead. Uh, just working around Yoshi's hitboxes, allowing him to kind of just air it out, toss out the neutral airs, toss out these up airs. But Rex kind of, you know, finding his own stuff. I like that little frame trap there. Yeah, up tilt and then reaction to the air dodge landing lag. Uh, Ken doing regular just Sonic things, getting the spin, the spin dash, leading up into one of those aerials, uh, lending himself a back air this time around. Ooh, I like that mix up from Rick's trying to find Ken, getting up with some type of regular getup, but yeah, he's not going to get it. I really like Rix's spacing right now and the way he's making sure to try to keep, like, he short hops periodically because while he's in that short hop position, he can react with Nair and punish the spin dash. I mean, so far, what I do want to see a little more from Rix is just that. Toss out some more eggs, trying to put on that pressure onto Ken to try to come at you. Really, whenever you have a Sonic to spin dashing towards you, you're going to put yourself in a great position to try to really follow up onto him. Oh, my goodness. I it's like that attempt. Try to get him with the with, with the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and scoop him up and see if he can get him into the egg lay, get him off stage. But, yo, he's off stage, into that blast zone, back air. Yeah, picked up by that back air in that attempt to punish that spring. It's a, it's a tricky situation to punish Sonic, and he can actually, like, theoretically land anywhere on the stage within a second. Oh! That's always scary to see, but uh, good on Rex air dodging through that. Ooh, good up tilt into the upper. Yeah, he crossed up with that dare. Really nice stuff. No, I mean, that, that's where Yoshi actually really excels. He can cross up with his dare. He can cross up with the neutral air. I am good la Rick's good lack right Good lack of mash from Ken, though. No. Ooh, down B, a bit of an ambitious reversal there, but he doesn't get punished too hard. It looks like Ken has too much rage for his desired output. Yeah, Rix is actually looking very good in the early goings of this match, but it's just going to show how hard it is to take a stock from Sonic, and nonetheless, one of the best Sonics in the world. Yeah, Ken, Ken's Sonic movement has always been incredible. I mean, that's the reason in doubles he's so potent with uh, Sue doing the Anubis strategy, because killing Ken is an ordeal. Oh. Forward smash should go ahead and do it. That much rage, there is no hope. Yeah. That much rage, 100%. Smashville, every single, every single card in the deck stacked against Rix for that F smash. You don't have to activate the trap card. No. You just, you can just like toss your hand at him, just say concede. No. Card destruction, dog. But all right, here we go. We're gonna move on to game two. We see any type of counter picks. Yep. Right now, the Luigi. Okay, rocking the elegant color too. You know, he's probably shouting out Elegant right now. He, he, maybe he knows that Elegant's not here. Shout out, shout out to Elegant Matt 69. But you know, he's probably doing it for him. They're trying to be the Luigi God himself. Battlefield. Yeah. I actually don't like this. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, go on. What, what, one, knowing Ken, this is actually one of his favorite stages for for Sonic in general. And two, it just gives Ken so much more movement options on these platforms and kind of limits where Rix is going to land himself. What really, I would I was expecting maybe an FD, a town in city, put him in a position to where if he's going with Luigi, kind of corner Sonic to where you get these grabs, keep up your fireballs, and give yourself some type of relief space to try to get to Ken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these platforms actually, yeah, they're not going to help uh, Rix too much either apply pressure or extend his combos, right? Because like you're saying, Rick, uh, the combos for Luigi, they just go along base ground level over and over again. Yeah, no, I mean, just yeah. right there in that situation, he got himself a down throw, but since he was too close to that platform, Ken immediately just teching on top of it, and Ken immediately hitting him with another forward smash and getting it. And I like the cheeky spring placement right there, wasting the invincibility frames for Rix when he comes back on the Andrew platform. No, definitely forcing him to get rid of it there. No, he's going to go ahead and get back down. Ken, so close, is just lapping Rix right now, but the fireball interrupting the spin dash, gets himself a grab, and you know, right on deck. Yeah, the thing about uh, Luigi Fireball, at close range, it's actually um, negative for you, even if it connects with the opponent, so it's not good uh, right in your face. Side B. Ooh, okay, thank you. Is he hugging the stage right there to go ahead and recover. It's not really making... 
so this is actually scary about Rix, is he's not actually making use of Luigi Cyclones to recover, right? He's relying a lot on his just double jumps to make it back to the stage, which means that if Ken intercepts him once, he will actually just be dead. Another up air already coming out for Ken. He's so close to netting himself this stock. No, I like that. And that, that's one thing I do appreciate from Ken. Whenever he does make contact with the spin dashes or sees that he hits shield, he's either one, jumping away, two, going with the spring to, to really fall onto one of these platforms, or three, just trying to mix you up with some type of aerial. Like, there's so many scenarios that go onto your head when you have a Sonic hitting your shield. Yeah. The thing that you have to recognize, though, is almost all of those end with Sonic in the air. So if you hold on to shield oh, no. and focus on breeding the landing, and he's dead. He had to use his double jump right there. And Ken, Ken, he was already dead. Ken, please. <laughs> Ken doesn't want to leave anything up to chance. He doesn't know the Cyclone mashing ability of Rick. So he says, you know what? I'm going to drop down back here you just in case you've been hiding a godlike mash yeah. in your pocket this whole time. Well, maybe he's kept that double jump. I'm not even sure. But no, yeah. no. His double jump got hit by the spring, and then he got... Oh, then there was no fight. hope, G-Pig. I don't, I don't no, know. He no might. amount of mashing will help. I don't care if you're a Mario Party no, no. god. You, you will not, not make it have back. Have you seen Elegant play? I have. Elegant does not need his double jump when he mashes I know, the Cyclone. But he's not elegant. Yeah, he's not elegant and he's not con con, but maybe he is. Maybe we don't know. We never You're saw right. his we never saw a cyclone. Maybe he could. We didn't even see one.